Okay, now we're going to look at the shoulder ligaments. The shoulder ligaments are mostly named for the structures of the shoulder. So structures on the scapula, the clavicle, and the humerus. That makes up your shoulder joint. Remember, this is a ball and socket joint. Okay, so this joint rotates. <clears throat> we have the glenoid cavity on the scapula, and here's our humerus. All of this ligament that attaches the glenoid to the humerus is called the glenohumeral ligament. So from here all the way down, wrapping around to the front, this is all glenohumeral ligament. The coracohumeral ligament attaches the coracoid process to the humerus. So if we look up here on top, we can see this ligament here going from the coracoid process to the humerus. It kind of courses under here, going to the coracoid process, so it looks a little, it doesn't look like it's going to the coracoid, but it is or cohumeral ligament. And we have a <coughs> ligament attaching the coracoid process here to the acromion process here. So this is the coracoacromial ligament right here. Coracoacromial ligament. Then we have a ligament attaching the acromion process to the clavicle. This is called the acromioclavicular ligament. Acromioclavicular ligament. We have a coracoclavicular ligament from the coracoid process to the clavicle, and that's in two parts. One, two. <clears throat> this part right here is called the trapezoid ligament, and this part is called the conoid ligament because it goes to the conoid tubercle right here on the clavicle. So coracoclavicular ligament trapezoid, conoid. This right here is the tendon for the biceps brachii long head muscle and it runs in the intertubercular sulcus. So here's your greater and lesser tubercle. This tendon is running in the intertubercular sulcus. This right here is the transverse scapular ligament. Here's our scapular notch transverse scapular ligament goes across that notch and makes a hole. Now we'll look at these on a different <coughs> model. <coughs> this one's a little bit different, but you still have your scapula, your clavicle, and your humerus. You have your glenohumeral ligament wrapping around. You have your coracohumeral ligament here. Tendon for the long head of the biceps brachii muscle in the intertubercular sulcus or bicipital groove. Coracoacromial ligament here. Acromioclavicular ligament here. Coracoclavicular ligament here in two parts. Trapezoid, conoid, and then your transverse scapular ligament.